Hi everybody, here I am on my weekend off if you like and you're probably wondering why am I doing a video on my weekend off. Well, you know, I'm up here on the tops of the hills in mid Wales with Spud the dog and what a lot of people don't realise is actually my hobby and my work are the same thing. So I work on classic cars because I'm passionate about them. What am I going to do on the weekend? Well, kind of the same thing quite frankly. So there's nothing I like better than a dirty weekend in Wales. So I've got two Land Rovers here, both obviously electric. One we converted about a year ago, and that guy um, has sent it back for a couple of upgrades, and he loves it so much, he's asked for another Land Rover to be built for his wife, which is this Series 2A Land Rover. So this guy lives in an estate in Scotland and wants us to just ensure that these vehicles are suitable to be used as kind of like everyday vehicles on his estate in Scotland. So what am I going to do on a weekend? Well, I'm going to come to the middle of nowhere in Wales and test them. So a lot of you are probably familiar with this old beast uh, from other videos we've done, but just thought I'd recap for those that haven't seen it. It's got a 60 kilowatt hour Tesla battery pack in the front and a 40 in the rear, so that's a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's got a Tesla drive unit mid-mounted underneath the chassis rails that drives the front prop and the rear prop. It's got a limited slip diff in its axle and the Tesla, so that's three LSDs, so ATBs. Uh, that's uh, automatic torque biasing diffs, which make this an absolute monster off-road. It's fantastic off-road, but it's got a little bit of luxury as well, So, which is uh, a rarity with a Defender. So if you have a look at the interior, you'll see what I mean. So, as well as electrifying this, we've also completely restored, or not it's restored, but re-trimmed, if you like, the interior. So it's got these fabulous bucket seats. The uh, centre box is all re-trimmed to, to match as well. You've got the winch stuff in there as well. So it's a bit of luxury when you're inside as well. You've got all your uh, roof lights uh, up here as well, controls, your Ford Reverse and stuff. So it's actually a really comfortable vehicle to drive off-road. And with a massive, huge, chunky tyres as well, there's not much that's going to stop it off-road. So on that note, I'm really interested to see how this is going to compare to its older cousin, the Series 2A. Right, let's show you the Series 2A then. So this is one of the uh, episode cars of Vintage Voltage Season 2. So I'm not going to show you the full works on this because if you want to see the build from start to finish, watch the Vintage Voltage episode. That's going to be on Quest uh, um, in January, February 2022, I think it is. But I'll just give you a taster. So this vehicle's gone through a, a full-on restoration, bare, bare metal restoration, um, galvanized chassis, etc. We've got a smaller battery pack in this than the big massive Defender. So in this, we've got a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack. Still got a Tesla drive unit mid-mounted, but again, it's power limited rather than 450 horsepower under your right foot, which is hilarious fun in the monster Defender. It would be too much in the series Land Rover. So we've limited that to around about 200 horsepower, which is still plenty. But because it's got that much power, we've also upgraded things like the brakes, for instance. We've got disc brakes all around and power steering as well. So this is going to be driven and owned by uh, the customer's wife. And uh, obviously it's got to be suitable for, the, for that use. So having things like power steering will definitely help to make it a practical car in that sense. So that's the kind of bits and pieces here. Uh, you're probably wondering why there's a radiator on an electric car. Well, electric cars still need cooling. Um, you need, still need to uh, thermally manage the battery pack, the motor, the inverter, for instance. So you'll always get radiators still on electric cars, but they're just not working as hard because essentially you're not cooling as much heat away from things like the engine, for instance. So let's have a look around the side. So got a little bit of mud on it already, just getting up here uh, uh, on the track. The uh, charge socket is underneath the old petrol filler cap, which is always a, a nice touch on these vehicles. And uh, I think now it's about time we went for a spin. So uh, let's take it for a spin. So let's start her up. That's it. That's now started. So we'll silently glide away. Oh, 
But one thing I always like to do with any of the off-roaders we build is take it to uh, this rock outcrop because it's actually really steep. Probably doesn't do it justice on the uh, camera, but I'd say it's close to probably 40 degrees. Um, it's a real good test because there's a little bit of rock, a little bit of moss and grass, so it kind of like gives the limited slip diff something to do as it's like grabbing for grip as it gets over. So I'm going to uh, give this a go and see how the Series 2 uh, copes with it. Well, that's pretty much the end of the day for us. Uh, sun's getting really low now. Probably need to head off the mountain before it gets too dark and get the vehicles washed. We're down to about 85% on the battery. We've been out most of the day now, which is pretty good. Uh, the green Land Rover, we've been really surprised at how well it's stuck with the black Land Rover because this, this is a beast off-road. And I was expecting the green Land Rover not to actually be able to follow it where this went, but it performed great. It followed it everywhere we went. Uh, didn't get everything on film because essentially we just had to keep our foot down on some of the muddy bits but it's absolutely fantastic off-road so i'm really happy that this is definitely uh, suitable for uh, um, estate use up in scotland so uh, that's the end of my fun weekend let's get them back to the uh, house get them washed and uh, get ready for another week of work <laughs>